Let's jump right into it. Hopefully the volume is good. I tested it a little bit beforehand. Tell me if it's too loud or too soft. Hmm. Is this real Japanese? Wow. Let's go. Wolf power. Hey, that's okay, Wolf. There it is. Yoohoo! I love this style. I think the wolf is a girl. I'm running this at 720p, by the way. Usually I try to. Oh, okay, here we go. Options. Can I scale it up? Display settings. There we go. Bigger. Let me just uh, get rid of that on the side. Let's do this, and it should be good. Yeah, sorry about that. It's because um, that was off my monitor. But yeah, it is wolf time. Yoo -hoo. It's yes, it's it's your time to shine, wolf. All right, let's get into it. Oh, Kami. I know literally nothing about this game. By the way. Oh right, Hideki Kamiya you, uh, worked on this. I forgot, and Marcus told me about that yesterday. I'm sorry, I'm not a good artist if, if I can just um, indulge a little bit I made a thumbnail um, for my Resident Evil uh, like highlight video and it's this do you like it this is the extent of my drawing abilities Anyway, let's actually pay attention to this story. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. To satiate the appetite of Orochi, a fearsome cave-dwelling cave -dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. 
with a body like a mountain, and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood-red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. Wow, harsh critic, hello. Okay, Mr. Master Artist. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shiranui. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village, and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. Is that him? John Okami? One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Jiranwi, and the warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shiranwi's swift movements. Hey, alright, Wolf. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white, plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing in the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the Beast Cave in place of his beloved. The Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home as Nagi stood bravely before the entrance. A beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight threshing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi left with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel, the blade of nary a scratch. Hey, I'm pretty interested so far. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shinranwi, the wolf that had dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Jiranui leapt towards Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Jiranui summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames. As Orochi closed in on Shiranui, sharpened claws glistening, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shiranui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mis mystical power, was not easily bested. Shiranui, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Yes, he uh, he summoned a commission artist to do his dirty work. That's how powerful they are. Orochi saw the chance to strike what well, would be the final blow, but Shiranui refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. 
The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face at his adversary, channeling all his strength into his scarred and battered arms. He leapt ferociously toward Orochi, sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome head is separated from their owner. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Granui had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped up the beast into his arms and returned to Kamiki. When they reached the village, Jirenui was no longer moving. The village elder gently struck the wolf's head. In response, Jirenui let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off as if into slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamiki village. In honor of Jirenui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Naki's sword was christened Tsukuyomi uh, and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. One hundred years have passed since Nagi and Shirenui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. It's kind of sad, that's like Green of Time Link. Like not being... Like not being... Known as a hero. This was all like time makes. Is this the legendary sword? Is this Tsukuyomi, the sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. Uh-oh. Now look what you did. I know, right? Looks great. It's so nicely stylized. Oh, he who seeks power. He who has broken my bond. Speak the words. I wish darkness unto the world. Utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of a product of, of its time, but, <laughs> but, like, it still looks great. I would argue it looks, like, better than a lot of other games released in its time, because of the heavy stylization. Tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. A tiny settlement of Kamiki village enjoyed the protection 
a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Whoa. Wood Sprite Sakuya. Okie dokie. How troublesome. But this is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There's no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I've been spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amaratsu, now is the time. <laughs> Why does she have Jiggle? We have never ended. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Hmm. I guess you're right, Weeps. Yo! He is. Okami Amaratsu. Oh, that's her. That's Okami. Wow, what a good girl. She deserves treats. Ah, such divine white light. Such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is, Amaratsu. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago, has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Oh, crying. I'm just gonna sleep? <laughs> okay, take a nap. Amaretsu, gaze above you and take the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our mists, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. But never have these circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the- Why does she have an ass window? She has a peach! Like an actual peach, but- what the heck? Hello? Capcom, why you do? Please use your ba powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm? Eh? What is this? Has something stolen its way into my robe? Uh oh, I don't like where this is going. Oh, oh he he he. A little bug. Ooh, what on earth? Hello there. You again? Oh, whoa, 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 are you nuts? Boy, you're a little thing. You sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting. That's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, Bug? Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that again. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isun. Of course you are. I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long till you're bound before my great brush. Not bad, I guess. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? What's with you, furball? You look kinda down in the dumps. Actually, you look kinda familiar. Got it. 
You look just like that statue of Shiranui. Oh, don't spit it out! Ew. Oh, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with the great Isu. Don't make me use my prized sword, then Komaro against you. What sword? It looks like a tiny little club. What? What's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh great god, Amaratsu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamiki Village. The village lives on, their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free, and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That Sakura girl sure said some weird stuff. The villagers' spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. That girl said that if you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. Wow, that was a lot of exposition. Yeah, jump! No double jump. Oh, oh, oh you see that? Do a flip. Do a flip. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold L for the map. Yeah, special attack. What in the world? There's something blocking the road leading back to the village. Am I still dreaming? I guess this is the only attack I have. Woo! Let's knock it down. That fruit sure is growing in a high place. The only way we're gonna reach that is with some kind of special power. Where are we? We got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the right stick to look around. Let's see, left bumper changes your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? Hey, I didn't ask for your help. You're the one who kind of, like, stole away. Ooh, first person. Hold on, that's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. Well, to put it shortly, you can save your progress here. And let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way you could always go back if you get stuck or something. You gotta be prepared, especially while still learning the ropes. Pressing B is a very odd way to save. I haven't even gotten into proper gameplay yet either. Wee! Jump off! Yeah! Look at all those pots just waiting to be broken. If you bust them, there might be something good inside. 
Press X to bust him with your head. He really is Zelda. Way to go, my fairy friend. You can do that anytime you see something you can break. Oh, we collect Yen, too. Do Yen, like... Does Yen still look like this? Does it have, like, a little hole on it? Or is that only Chinese currency? With coins? I don't know anything about... About the currency of those countries. Whoa, whoa, hold on there, furball. Get a load of that. That chest looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Getting up that high ought to be a piece of cake. Press A to jump. Press A to get and to do a wall jump. And make sure you press it firmly so you jump really high. Ooh. Nice. I knew you could do it. They say good luck is found in high places. So keep your eyes peeled. We don't want to miss any treasure. Yeah, 180 yen. I'm rich. Although the, the like conversion from yen to like uh, USD is kind of weird. Cause like it's like several thousand yen is like ten dollars or something. Yeah. Yeah, I got a treat. Looks like the bridge is out. This should be so hard. Um, I'm Ratsu Watson. That's kinda long. Mind if you call me... if I call you Amy? Listen, Amy. Ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brushwork has its own soul. At least that's what they say. Just watch. It take all day to explain. Picture's worth a thousand words, right? Oh, here's where my artist ability is put to the test. Nice, huh? Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. It's one of my many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. I've practiced really hard just to master this one technique. But there are 13. Each one is a power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. The gods now dwell within objects all around us, but... God or no god, how can anyone have the power to master all 13? Just master it. The river of the heavens? They mean the fabled Stardust River? But I sure don't see anything like that around here. Couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? <laughs> you can't attack your little bug guy. Would have been kind of funny if you could. Whee! <laughs> I have a bark button. That's probably for like an ability that I don't have yet. But I'm gonna press that a lot. Wow, look at the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look. Are those stars forming a pattern or is it just me? That doesn't make sense. That's literally just four lines. How do you see a dragon in four lines, man? Hmm. There's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. Bah. Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. No, I drew more than one. Oh, 
Nice, Okami Dragon. Ah, why doesn't if it isn't Mother Amaratsu? I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yomigami, Lord of Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. While you were away, the thirteen spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men, now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all of the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of the stardust. Yeah. Oh, that was Yubigami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of... Oops, I skipped it. That would mean you were as good as your brush as yours truly. Ah, couldn't be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? Wow, first achievement. Nice. And I'm really glad that they they limit you right here. Like, they just have, like, an invisible wall because I probably would have jumped off several times already. I need to see if this fire can burn me. Nah, it doesn't look like it. That will probably be a little bit cruel to put in a tutorial level. Although, who would be jumping up and intentionally trying to get burned by the fire. Well, except me, I guess. I wonder if trying some stardust would get the river flowing again. Uh, it's only... It's one thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a starry river? There's no way you could pull it off. You could pull off a stunt like that. Yeah, get more money. Just fill this up like this. Color in between the lines. Whoop. Whoa! A river of stardust! So this really must be the river of the heavens. But what I really want to know is who the heck drew the darn thing? Oh, look at that water. Wee! That's amazing. It's like little shooting stars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You just gonna ignore that treasure chest? Indeed I am, actually. You'll end up in the poor house if you ever look stuff like that i want to i want to smash the pot <laughs> those are a little bit more interesting to me than this treasure chest i don't know why Ooh. look what you found furball this astral pouch here is amazing it can swallow up lots of food then when it's full it can revive its owner if he or she dies Let's start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. Apple. Hey, it's just like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. We have an apple. That'll save us from, from dying. At least of hunger. Alrighty, I think that's it for the tutorial stage.
Now we can get Big Peach. Maybe. Wait, this is... This is not where the tree is. Can I go back? I want to see if I can go back and get the, like, big old peach that was there. It seems like it would be kind of illogical to, like, make the player have to go all the way back to where we were. Whoop. Uh, to get the peach or whatever, but... I guess I'll also save. Actually, not that I think about it. Boop, 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 boop. Huh? Are you even trying? Can I, like, cut it? I probably have to... I'll make a bridge. All the way up. Okay, never mind then. Let's go back to where we were. I've heard that the Wii version of this game is really not good. And that seems like it's really counterintuitive. Because you think pointer controls would make this like really, really smooth, like a really great experience, but I guess even even pointer controls kind of detract from from the game if they're not implemented correctly. Even though it's, it, it would seem that it would be like a good fit or whatever. Yeah, let's go. What does this say? What's of Nagi? Nagi? What's his name doing here? I kind of wish there was a run button, to be honest, like having to hold in that direction for a while uh, to, to like run is just a little bit annoying, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Little itty bitty pet peeve, I guess. Here's the sword guy. Is this... Is this the legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagi. The legendary hero Nagi is enshrined here. He vanquished evil 100 years ago with the help of the white wolf, Shiranui. First the river of the heavens, and now this place. Where the heck are we, Furball? Boy, this place is a wreck. Yeah, that sword is in really bad shape. The god sure didn't do much to protect this place. Wow, super rude. Hmm. 
Oop. That really was your brushwork all this time. How'd you get so good? Exactly who are you anyway? Hey, there's another constellation. This one looks like, uh... Oh, of course, a rat! Uh, I mean, it's so obvious. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, cute! Oh my god, it has a sword! <laughs> Takigami, huh? Well, 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 if it isn't Mother Amaretsu. It's been a long time, but without these monsters around, the only place I could hide was in this shrine dedicated to an the ancient heroes. If there's anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Make good use of this sword that is, is designed to conquer evil. Thank you, Tiny Rat. Hey, that was the god, Takigami. Master of the power slash technique. Wait a minute. If you're getting all these powers, then you're just like that Shiranui. You know, the wolf who fought and died alongside the great Nagi. When Shiran we dive, the wolf power was split into 13 brush gods. This is crazy. Shiran we Nagi is just like the legend. Well, anyway, I've never seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off in that boulder over there? Let me see your slice in half by drawing a single line. I won't believe it till I see it. Sorry. Hey. Yeah. Wow. I didn't think you had it in you, furball. I'm not even in the same league as you. Guess I really overestimated myself. Hey, furball. Uh, I mean, Amaratsu. I've made up my mind. You're a Shiranui reborn. Then that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. Lucky you. Sure. <laughs> it's no use trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. But enough about me. Now that you've mastered the power slash, you can cut down that thing Saki was talking about. Let's go back and give it a shot. No, I see. So there's gonna be... There's gonna be, um... One achievement for each of the uh, 13 gods. Mm -hmm. Oh, look! Our first instance of combat! Let's go! What the? Where'd they come from? Ah, uh, whatever. Draw first, ask questions later, right? You know that divine instrument you have on your back? Well, press the X button to use its power against them. Look, Amy. Once you've caught them off guard, you turn them black and white. They're pretty easy for your brush, no matter how nasty they are. Grab your brush and give them a power slash. So I have a limited amount of ink to draw with. Oh, I didn't expect that mechanic. Even though I'm, you know, literally just slathering ink all over the place and stuff, but like, I would be like unlimited, because everything else is magical, you know? 
why not get ink from like a magical supply? I wonder if I can cut down the trees. Oh, I can! Whoops! Oh no! Oh! Oh, it looks so bare now! And I wasted the peach that was here. <laughs> Whoops. I hope those grow back. <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> Beyblade, let her rip! Oh yeah, look at that! Cabbage! Yeah, more vegetables! And ginseng? Grapes? And more cabbage! Nice! I should probably not get ahead of myself using up all my ink on like these things oh never mind the ink respawns it's like a little timer thing so it's like a, a rage gauge kind of or like refilling mana either way still kind of the same thing you get more veggie tables so i can be healthy Maybe one of these plants is going to give me a Flintstones gummy. Then I'll be absolutely unstoppable. <gasps> oh right, I almost forgot about the bark button. That's amazing. Oh, look at this. Gourd. Like Gordon Ramsay? Oh, it's raw. Oh, by God. I wouldn't give that to my dog. Alright, now let's get the big peach. Yep. Peaches are so good. I love peaches. Especially canned peaches. Like, all that, like, liquid that they're in is, like, pure sugar, right? It's probably not good for you at all, but it tastes so good. Wow, the village has been restored. Sakia came through big time. She really was protecting the village. But I sure wish I could have spent more time in her communal. If you know what I mean. What a perv. Baka hentai. <laughs> but seriously, with monsters running around and all, the village could still be in danger. Let's go see how they're all doing down there.
Hey, that's a fair exchange, Hollow. Two dollars for a peach. You want anything else? I could get you maybe some bananas. And uh, some McNuggies. Just tell me all at once so I don't have to run around all day. Hello. What in the world? I don't remember there being a statue here. Oh, whatever. Let's go talk to the villagers. I think this is a villager, dude. Are you nuts? What do you think you're doing? Sorry. Can I... Can I... What was that? Is that bad? I can't read what that says. feeling about this. Kamiki Village is supposed to be famous for its scenic beauty. I wonder what's going on down there. wonder too. I also wonder where we are because we're like in a void. There's nothing around us except darkness. Ooh, no fall damage. Wait, you mean John Cena? Like, he's following 13.5 million people on Twitter? There's no way that he pressed that follow button himself 13.5 million times. That's like an implausibility. Everyone is stone. Hey, there's a statue here too. It's like the villagers have turned to stone or something. Not again. That's not one of those smaller monsters we're lurking about. A war like that's gotta belong to something much bigger. Let's hurry up and find somebody with a pulse around here. Yeah, it has to be a bot. I refuse to believe that he did that. Hello, are you alive? That was kind of a funny question, because I asked if they were alive, but this is a mirror. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, just looking for some money. Don't mind me. Even gods need to make cash. I saw, like, God advertising on YouTube, by the way. No joke. Look. Look, see? I told you. I took a screenshot of it. God is out here. He's... You know, he's making the rounds. He's making that moolah. Yeah, exactly. The world runs on money. Hello, wake up. Not good. This one's not moving. Everyone here was perfectly fine just a few hours ago. There's definitely something strange going on around here. The village is back, but what's up with the dark sky? Maybe it's dark outside the village, too. Let's find some high ground so we can take a look. Now it should climb the ladder. 
Can dogs climb ladders? I know they can climb stairs. But I'm pretty sure they can't climb ladders. Yeah, dude. So you started that DLC I picked for you yesterday? Are you an official genie now? You were hired by the genie guild. And, uh, they're making sure that you have a steady workflow. Oh, that's kind of sad. But this is bad. The sun's not even shining. It's as black as night as far the eye can see. And not a single villager can move a muscle. Is it some kind of curse? Did a monster do this? It's not gonna stay like this forever, is it? Only the sun were out to light our way. We could draw a circle in the sky, we'd have ourselves a sun. But I guess that'd be impossible, even for a god like you. Maybe we better seek out another brush god for help. Of course, if he had that kind of power from the start, that'd be a different story. Who knows? Maybe I do. Ooh. Huh? You're not actually trying to draw the sun, are you? I show you up to the task. I just gotta make it a little bit rounder, like that. Ah, oh, forget it. I don't know what I was thinking. How could anyone face the sky and draw a nice round circle and expect the sun to actually appear? Was my circle not circle enough? There we go. Uh, what the? Hmm, come to think of it, your name is Amaratsu. That's the name of the sun god. So, it followed that you had the sunrise technique from the start. With it, you could even turn night into day. Wow. You're no run-of-the-mill god, that's for sure. The flowing brushes like music from the heavens. And that's a line from one of my grandfather's poems. He felt a skilled artist was like a musician of shape and color. Since you're a great artist yourself, why don't we name your brushwork after the poem of his? It's called Celestial Brush. After all, your brush did bring out the sun. Well, Amy, let's head back to the village. We gotta see if the villagers are back to normal now. Hey, maybe... Maybe he's gonna get to that third wish soon. Is there like a limit for wishes or... Or nah? Hmm? Who are you? Mr. Orange, because he always has an orange on his head. That's kind of amazing. Yo, getting six wishes sounds like a a criminal deal, dude. That's like theft at that point. That deal is so good. A white wolf. Not the one who fought that terrible creature with Nagi. You couldn't possibly be the legendary Shiranui. Oh, it can't be. That story's a hundred years old. Still, you look a lot like that statue of Shranui. <laughs> yes, yes she does. Smile. On the other hand, you don't look quite as smart. Whoa, 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 no need to growl like that. Can you really understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not one to mince words. I just state the facts. Uh-oh. 
More zombos. Or vampires. One of those. Hmm? What's this sudden chill down my spine? Here they come, furball. Those are the monsters that I've been that have been plaguing these lands. They sneak into villages and cause all sorts of trouble. Step aside, furball. This is a job from my trusty sword, Dan Komaru. Hey. get aggressive when you're mad, don't you? Hey, you got some yourself some praise. And look, see how that dried up spring began flowing again? That's because ridding an area of monsters restores the god's power to the land. People call it divine intervention. The more you restore the land to its natural beauty, the more praise you'll get. It's the source of your power. Few people believe in gods these days, and that may weaken you. But if you try real hard, the true power just might shine through. But boy, there sure has been a lot of monsters around lately. Not Mr. Orange you tossed around up on deck. Looks like he thinks you're a regular wolf. Seems the gods have grown so weak, people can't see them anymore. So, uh, anyway, I'll show you around the village. I have a feeling we're in for an epic adventure. This should be fun for a ball. This guy is probably a god. Because he was grumbling around. Why, oh, you little devil. Look at this sweet grub you found. Hey, wait. This is animal food. Still, we could give it to some animals. Let's use it when we try to approach animals later. Something good might come out of using it. The right way. I know those gods aren't supposed to use creatures in this manner. But what the heck? Let's make an exception this time. Oh, I almost forgot. There was something I wanted to tell you. Whenever you want to check the items you've obtained, just press start in the fan menu. Cool. Well, that kind of scared me. I thought I was, like, boiling or something. I guess that's just, like, a health restore thing. <laughs> yeah, no fall damage. Yo. You can bite them? Oh my god, why would you do that? Oops, sorry. Hmm, a white wolf? Now that's just plain weird. Sure looks all like, like a weak little bugger. Think you could beat my dog? Ayabusa, well listen to this. There's this field my mama tends to, you see. Well, Hayabusa managed to dig up nine turnips in a row. Even though my mom was chasing him around trying to slug him. There are actually ten turnips from that field. Hayabusa is fixing to get all ten. Hey, Hollow. Welcome back. Did you grant more wishes? Sheesh, he's always snoring like a bear. This is the home of the two-bit middle-aged warrior, Susano. He goes around claiming to be a descendant of Nagi. He's famous around here for his lineage, but he's awfully lazy and too off the wall to be descendant of a legendary hero. 
Yo, let's wake him up. Oh, yo. He could never be. Jump on him. Whoop. I am the greatest. Oh, looks like he ain't waking up anytime soon. He's out cold. Hey, <laughs> what if I... Hey, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> he doesn't wake up after that. I try to slash him in his sleep. What's wrong with me? Birdies, hello. Here you go. Yes, we can feed the birds. Oh, look at them go. Oh, that's amazing. I'm feeling that this is gonna be the like central hub for all of our adventure stuff and it's gonna be like we can improve stuff because it looks like uh looks like there's still some people who are stoned or something like uh over there and people are kind of troubled so hey it's like we're gonna rebuild the uh the village or whatever or at least improve it No catches to the wish, huh? That's OP, man. Eve! Eve! This is weird. My mind really wants to shift this rock. But my body won't cooperate. It's like I'm made of wood. Could this be a case of demonic possession? I sure hope not. Hey, check it out. Playing some instrument. That's more ass. Why? I thought there was going to be some kind of gimmick there. Yay! Oh man, that's kind of tricky. Because if, if you're immortal and you lose your soul, then what happens? You just become a hollow husk? Dun dun dun! What? I don't believe it, hollow. Whoa, Amy. You started glowing. That means your divine attributes can be enhanced. Well, you sure look excited. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so... Hmm. 
get some more health, I guess. Yay! Well, is it all coming back to you or what? Huh? It's hard to notice such a small enhancement. Oh, lighten up, furball. This is one of the big stuff for the new and improved Amaratsu. Keep up the good work. Oh, I almost forgot. We better check in on that dude. Nah, I feel as light as a feather. Now. Sadly, that doesn't make it any easier to shift this boulder. We went and blocked the only path out of the here anyway. There's no way I can get back to the city now. Say, pup, your owner lives here in the village, right? So you must know that guy, Susano. Can you get him to come here? They say he's the descendant of the legendary hero Naki. If anyone can do something about this rock, it's him. That's strange. This boulder wasn't here before. I... What if I just try to cut it? Cut it up. This... Looks like Power Slash is just... Isn't enough. Maybe we ought to bring Susano here and see what he thinks. So... Is it like a cuphead situation? Where... Where you gotta get like their souls back? With like the soul contracts and stuff like that? Or does he just still not have a soul but he can like finally die or something? I am the greatest. Oi, wake up! Let's wake this guy up. What the? Huh? Ah, I feel so well rested. I planned to meditate underground, but I fell fast asleep. Hmm? Who are you? And what business do you have with Susano, the greatest warrior ever? Yo, his sword is made of wood. I don't think he's gonna be cutting much. Do even the beasts know of my great exploits now? Well, Fido, I'm not looking for apprentices. Go back to the mountains and play with your monkey friends. How dare a mangy mutt like you interrupt my meditation. Get a lot of this guy, all brawn, no brains. Quit messing around and come with us. No, mm -hmm. you snuck in here again. Quit bugging you, you. Bugging me, you bug. I told you, don't call me a bug. Come on, Amy. We're taking him with us. Whoa, let's go. What do you think you're doing? Put me down this instant. What will the neighbors think? They'll be jealous, dude. They're like, yo, you got, like, your own wolf? Yoo-hoo! Yeah, let's go faster. Oh, look, bunnies! Okay, so he loses his immortality, but does he get his soul back? Or that's it, he just loses his immortality and has the ability to die. You mangy mutt. You brought me all the way here just to test yourself against me? Then prepare to taste the wrath of my trusty blade. Tohen Boku. Uh, hold on a minute. You're the legendary Susano. Yep, none other than Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that was kind of my 
my question. Glad to have that answered. And by the way, never interrupt warriors engaged in battle. But I've got a favor to ask you. This huge boulder blocking the path is really getting in my way. Can't you do something about it? What? Come on, please. I mean, you are Naki's descendant, aren't you? Surely one stone's no match for your mighty skills, right? Mm. It is certainly not beyond my ability. Really? Great. Okay then, no time like the present. Go for it. Wait! A boulder of this size is not very easy even for me. This will require my utmost focus to magnify the power of my sword. I shall retire to the training grounds to make preparations. Wait for my return. Hmm, I wonder. I've never seen the guy train seriously. Ever. Well, I can f make it through. Look. Look at that little hole right there. I can definitely squeeze through there, even if this guy can't. Uh, hello? You're supposed to be training. I know I told that merchant I could help, but a boulder of that size? I don't care if I'm the legendary bloodline, it's just too big. Hmm? No, no, I can't believe I've run out of sake at this at a time like this. This won't do one bit. That's it for today. I'll just have to train tomorrow. It's no use. I can't even move. Wow. Seriously. You're surprising in the worst way. It's gonna take me a little while to get used to that B save. Before I talk to anyone else, I should probably check in with the merchant, see what he has to say about this. No bunnies. Can that guy really handle this? Oh well, I guess all I can do is wait here. Maybe I should get him some more sake. But that would just be like, enforcing his bad behavior. How's this? Does he really think we're gonna bring him some sake? Well, I guess there's no other way to get him to move. He's gonna be there for like a bajillion years if we don't. Hello, doggy. <laughs> what a good boy, look at him. I've just about had enough of this. I don't know if it's stray dogs or monsters or what, but someone keeps messing up my crops. Going around digging holes with wine it makes me mad. If I catch you digging around here, you'll get a good thumping. I definitely shouldn't press Y then. <laughs> I 
Oh, she just reset to her other position. not what I wanted to do. You aren't gonna get me. Oops, I dug a hole in the wrong spot. Oh, it took too long. Alright, I'm gonna try it again. I can't be bested by... by that dog. Yo. <laughs> Come get me. Ooh, the jukes. Let's go. It takes one uh, hit for you to get caught. That sucks. She does mean business. She's being mean. All I'm trying to do is ruin her life's work. Seriously. She doesn't gotta be like that. Yeah, I mean, her kids are gonna go hungry and probably starve to death if they don't get anything else to eat. But that's not my problem.
Yeah, I got the magical thing. Hey, that's... that's... The oddly shaped turnip Hayabusa and I have been looking for. That means... You've broken Hayabusa's record by digging up all ten turnips. Gosh darn it. Fine, you're the better canine. Anyway, it actually feels good to have a new goal to aim for. Alright. Look at this good boy. <laughs> so happy. Oh, he's so happy that he was bested. Look at him. Anyway, we gotta get that sake. We've been running around for too long. Mr. Orange lives here. He's a regular village celebrity. Oh, right, yeah. The guy I yeeted off the cliff. Who we still haven't gone to check up on. He's probably fine. Hello, chicken. There's gotta be some kind of bar around here. Oh, it's nighttime now. Whoops. Took an entire day. If I can. <laughs> nope. Wait a minute, I am the sun god, right? That means I can just draw a sun into the sky and wake everyone up prematurely? Amazing. Let's do that. Oop. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Dang. Well, wow, these guys are gonna get no sleep whatsoever. They're gonna be so sleep deprived. Oh. Oh, here. Hello, do you have sake? What's your name? Mine's Kushi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, look, sake brewer. Nice, this is exactly what we need. Working in the fields again, are you? Listen, are you and the wolf together? This is where I grow the rice for making my sake, you know. But I have to manage the harvest on my own. It's hard work. Maybe I should have Susano give me a hand again this year. Oh, listen to me blabbering on. I just can't help chatting to you. Why, Amy, I think you found a friend here. You'll meet many people who will talk to you like this. You should talk to them two or th even three times. Being a god and all, you can actually tell when to talk, because you'll see a triangle above their head. That means they still have something to say. It might even be valuable information sometimes. They may just be muttering to themselves, but it pays to listen. No. Oh, hello there. I've got a bit of problem, you know. I have to polish rice in the mill house before I can use it. But the mill's broken. A wicked monster broke it up the other day. It's hopeless trying to make good sake without clean rice. Wow, that's too bad. Should never have let that monster try my new thunder brew. 
And a broken mill and a flattened crops. That's all the thanks I get. Don't go giving monsters sake. They're bad enough sober. Sheesh, what was she thinking? Anyway, I guess it's the matter of fixing something that's broken. Sounds like something you could handle with your brush, Annie. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. That ought to do it. Yeah. Look, I fixed it. What's this? The mill's been mended. Who on earth did that? I'd completely given up on the idea of making my sake. But now I can get over with... Get on with polishing the rice. Well, no time like the present. I better get started. Oh, she's the complete opposite of Susano. Hello. I need some alcohol. Yes, I am 18. Pets! Interested in how to burst sake, are you, Snowy? Well, this thing here's for polishing the rice, you see. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've got something I think you'll like. <laughs> it's just some leftover stock from the store. But I made it myself. It's called Vista of the Gods. Oh, but are you even old enough to drink, Snowy? I definitely am. Yep. Thanks. Actually, she does have a triangle over Oh, oh my gosh, I love that when you get pets. Burning sake is my whole life, you know. One day, I'll produce sake that will be remembered and legend forever. Let's go get some of this stuff to that bum. Maybe he'll feel inclined to help after drinking some of this. Hey, yo! Hey, here you go. Mm. Hold it right there, Fido! That smell is that Kushi's famous homebrewed sake! Fido, my friend! Did you bring me some of Kushi's sake? Oh, what a glorious day! Ah, good old sake! A man without drink is like a warrior without his trusty sword. In fact, it is said that the Nagi himself relied on the power of sake in his battle with the dreaded Orochi. It's all so clear now. Let the training begin. I'll just try a bit of my unusual routine. Okay, here I come. Shall not get off so easy next time, dummy. <laughs> He's gonna rely on us for this? Of course he would. Feast your eyes on this. Susano style exploding implosion. Susano huh? style exploding implosion. You sliced that huge rock clean in half. You really are something. 
Wow, I didn't think he could do it, Pops. Me either. Uh, I mean, of course I could. After all, I am Susano, the greatest warrior ever. You weren't just showing off when you said you were Nagi's descendant. Someone like you have no trouble fighting monsters off, huh? Well, anyway, thanks a lot. Now I can start doing business again. Did you say monsters? Oh, uh, of course, no problem. This is a job for the most skilled warrior in all of Nippon. Yes, I shall rid these lands of their vile presence. Just sit back and watch the great Susano work his magic. He is going to get himself killed. He shouldn't get all puffed up. He's nothing without us. I think he'll be okay. The monsters outside the village are nasty. Ah, Gloria Samaratsu. Oh, she's back. What a pleasure to witness your heroic deeds. I am in awe. When you cleave that boulder in two, my heart skipped a beat. To see your skills with the brush is to be witness to great art. Yeah? Do we get a reward or something, lady? I hardly think your participation had any impact, little bug. It's Isun! Isun, Isun, Isun! Stop calling me a bug! I'll crawl back into your kimono if you say that again. My word! I'll relax, lady. Furball's here more comfy anyway. Let's get back to that reward thing you were talking about. Come on, Annie. Put your paw up or something. Go on, shake. I must apologize. I would like to reward you, but I'm afraid I haven't the power. I can barely muster enough strength to make a flower bloom. Though my body stands firmly here within the confines of the village, my roots spread far and wide, protecting remote areas outside. These parts of me are known as guardian saplings. They collect the praise and adoration that gives me strength. The recent evils eroding the guardian saplings. If this continues, I will wilt away as well, and my power will vanish. Worse yet, the dark power grows stronger with each passing day. Life as we know it will be consumed utterly in no time. Aw oh man, this is getting heavy. Great and powerful Amaratsu, could I be so bold as to request your assistance in rejuvenating, rejuvenating these guardian saplings by lifting the curse that enslaves them? I shall mark the locations of nearby saplings on your map. Nice, there's two right nearby. I have grown tired. I haven't even the strength to speak now. I hope that my request has not fallen on deaf ears. Emiratsu, may the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. Ah. I'm always itching for a good fight, but I sure don't want to poke my nose into this mess. Still, I'm stuck with furball here until I get all the brush skills. Anyway, Amy's a god and all. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, did you listen to her, furball? You get the rest of the brush techniques to save the world. And I'll steal and learn them. Yeah, that's the ticket. At any rate, let's start by following those marks on the map. <laughs> Woof! Bark, 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 bark. Well, I think that's something that I'll save for next time.
Work, 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 work. Let me save. An hour thirty seven minutes. Nice. It feels like those uh, saplings are going to be like their own little quests or whatever, so I'm going to save those for the next stream. So, thanks for stopping by and watching Okami HD, guys. So far, I like it. I, I don't really have enough to form a really solid opinion, just, you know, we just started the game and all, but it has a really nice art style, the music fits well. Drawing stuff with the brush is fun. And, uh, yeah. So, I am going to take a BRP and be back with some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. So, don't go anywhere. <laughs>